everyone. Thanks for watching this video on how to participate in a live Twitter chat. What is a live Twitter chat? It's basically a scheduled time when Twitter users come together to discuss some predefined topic. They create an online discussion via Twitter by organizing around a hashtag, something like hashtag macro sw or hashtag blog chat or whatever the hashtag might be. The hashtag just makes it easy to aggregate tweets from different Twitter users to be able to follow a conversation in real time. Hashtags get used for a lot of different things, and so I'm not going to really talk more about what hashtags are used for. Just start by going over to twitter.com, sign up for an account. If you don't have one, it's free, and then you can start getting into some of these live chats, following along, learning from other uh, Twitter users, and also learning about different topics that you might be interested in. It's a great way to develop your own professional collaboration network and engage in lifelong learning as well as professional development. This live Twitter chat, I'm actually partnering with the folks over at MacroSW. They have a website, macrosw.com, and they're a collective that are interested in macro social work practice and macro social work education. They do a lot of different things to help raise awareness about macro social work. They have a lot of different resources and other things that you can go and check out on their website. And thanks to Macro SW for partnering with me on my live Twitter chats for so many years now. So how do you participate in a live Twitter chat? Well, that's a little bit of what this video is about. You can also go over to my colleague Laurel Hitchcock's blog, Teaching and Learning in Social Work, and see how to participate in a live Twitter chat. There's a lot of great tips here for social workers and non-social workers alike. It was written a few years ago, but there's a lot on this blog post that is still pertinent today and can help you get acquainted with how to participate in a live Twitter chat. So for my live Twitter chat, I'm actually using this as an assignment in one of my classes. Uh, students have been watching or that we watched the uh, documentary film Inequality for All and you can go to my own blog and see how I've used this film in my macro social work classes over the years and we're going to be talking about this uh, for our live Twitter chat that's coming up not too far away. Some of the things that you will need to do when you're live tweeting or engaging in a live Twitter chat is understanding the different tools and mechanisms that are used in order to engage in a live chat. So if you put macro SW in the search bar here on Twitter, you will get some auto recommendations and you'll also see top tweets as that's the default setting right now on Twitter. But if you click on latest, you'll be able to see what the most latest tweet, this was 19 seconds ago, what the latest tweet is that includes that hashtag macro SW. Uh, that's the thing that helps aggregate things together. You can also see I tweeted a link to my blog post with hashtag macro SW. But when we actually engage in the live Twitter chat, we'll also use that same hashtag macro SW. And if you keep clicking on latest here, this will keep on refreshing with everybody that's tweeting and including that hashtag macro SW in their tweets. That's how it functions as an aggregator to create a, a stream, if you will, of all of those tweets. But in order to see that on Twitter, you have to use it here in this search bar and you have to have that there and constantly clicking on this to see it update. There are some other tools, some other ways that you can go about following the live feed or the live stream. One of the best ways that I've found lately is to use TweetDeck. So if you actually are already logged in to Twitter on your web browser, like I'm using Google Chrome here, but if you type in tweetdeck.twitter.com, then it should bring up TweetDeck for you. This is a service that Twitter bought a few years ago and basically organizes your Twitter into different columns. And you can move these columns around and adjust them into the view that you might want to see. You can create new columns like this one over here I created simply just to follow the hashtag macro SW. And so you can see this is my home feed over here. This is where just, you know, whoever I follow, those tweets are showing up in real time. When you're on the live chat, you can actually use this to just follow and see things happen in real time. This should update on its own just as my live feed keeps on updating uh, in real time and it will go quick. And so there's different things that you can also do within TweetDeck. Um, you can change 
what tweet authors you want to specifically see or how they're mentioning different things. You can engage with tweets from right within as far as if you want to retweet things or you want to um, favorite things or you want to reply to different folks. Uh, there's a lot that you can do right within TweetDeck. And it's an easy way to aggregate and see your notifications as well as follow along with the hashtag in real time that you like you'll be doing for a live Twitter chat. Of course, the alternative is to just use Twitter itself and go to their search pane, put in that hashtag that you want to follow along with, click on latest, and you may have to, you know, refresh this and click on latest again to make sure during the live chat because they can be fairly fast that you're seeing you know the tweets that are going by you don't always need to see every single tweet you don't need to read every single tweet in a chat in fact it's probably impossible instead that's why it's a good idea to follow whoever the moderator is or the facilitator for that chat and the questions that they're asking so that you can respond to the questions that you want to you can have conversations, sidebar conversations are totally okay with other users and doing different things, you know, by either replying to them, uh, retweeting with a comment, or, you know, at replying them. Well, here it's a lot easier within Twitter now to just add a tweet to their tweet and respond. When you're responding on Twitter to a question, typically from the moderator or facilitator, the questions will be tweeted with a uh, Q1 for question one, or Q2 for question two, or some mechanism by which you'll know which question is which, along with the, obvious, with the actual question, of course. Now, you can just simply click on this little kind of thought bubble and reply to the author themselves, but you need to always include the hashtag. That's how it gets aggregated back into the overall stream for the live chat so that others who are following along will be able to see and read your tweet. So if this was actually a question, uh, you would also want to respond with A for answer and the number like one or if it's question four or whatever it is, you typically wait for the questions to come through in order and you respond to them that way. But if you jump into the chat late, it's fine too. Just Including an A and the question that you're responding to is very helpful, you know, for different people that might be reading your tweets or following along to know what question you're responding to. And then you would just respond with your answer and spell correctly. Include your hashtag and then you would just hit tweet. And there's a lot of different things you can do these days with Twitter from including different emojis or emoticons. You can include um, different GIFs now or memes. You know, there's so much that you can do on Twitter to engage with other Twitter users. And so live Twitter chats have evolved a lot over the last couple of years because of these new mechanisms uh, by which we can employ to engage with one another to chat. I hope that... Uh, this has been helpful. Yeah, I'm going to discard that. I hope this has been helpful for you to be able to understand real quickly how to follow along in a live Twitter chat, either using TweetDeck or just following along with several different tabs that are open to show, you know, the hashtag that you're following in the search bar or even including another tab that has your notifications and your actual home stream. However it is that you want to follow along the chat, if it works for you, then, it, then that's great. There's no single best way. It's just, you know, there's different tools like TweetDeck. There's also another one that's called TweetChat that I don't use anymore because it's gotten kind of buggy. But there's a lot of different ways that you can follow along uh, in a Twitter chat. In fact, if you have a great way, go ahead and leave a comment down below here on YouTube and uh, something maybe that I haven't seen or used yet that other people might be able to find useful. So thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.